So moving on in my unboxings now that grad school semester has um, ended and I'm celebrating by trying to catch up on some of my unboxings and some of the ones that I actually need to really catch up on are the snack boxes. I've got two of these love with food ones and one of the wow boxes from Japan. Japan crate? Japan I don't know, wow box. It's a snack box from Japan. But anyway, um, those have been kind of sitting here and I need to get these open and snacked on at this point. So I'm gonna focus on those and then we'll see what else I have time to take care of and film today. So the goal is to try to chug through a whole bunch of boxes and filmings and editings and uploadings and to try to get a little bit caught up. So. Love with Food is a snack box, obviously, and this particular size is the tasting box, which I find is really nice for, um, you know, if you're if you're not a family, if you're not like buying stuff for multiple people, it's kind of a good size. And um, what I do like about Love with Food, and I've mentioned this before, is that a portion of the payment that's made for the subscriptions actually goes towards their uh, charitable giving for meals for the homeless and so I really appreciate boxes that have a kind of a, a charitable angle to them uh, because then not only are you having fun with getting stuff yourself in the mail and trying things and samples and stuff but you're also paying it forward and taking care of your neighbors in your community so I definitely appreciate that and I just recently noticed that um, the company that um, does this is located really nearby to me so um, even more so I appreciate supporting a local company that's a lot of so's sorry <laughs> so as per usual with snack boxes I'm not going to try everything in here there are sometimes things that are difficult to reclose or maybe better suited for you know other other times of the day uh, so I won't necessarily try everything that's in here, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is either the April or the May box, so we're about to find out which one this is. And as usual, if you're interested in this box, it'll the link is located below. All right, so this is the May box. For the month of May, we celebrate the superheroes in our lives, our moms. Give mom a foodie adventure. So who needs super who needs superheroes when I have mom? All right. So with 2017 almost halfway through, we may find ourselves thinking how quickly the year is going by. In the blink of an eye, the moments we create with our friends, family, and loved ones can rapidly turn into memories. With so many celebrations going on this month, whether you're celebrating the awesome mother in your life, the season changing, or living deliciously gluten-free in honor of food allergy awareness, I didn't know it was food allergy awareness, so there you go, we've made sure that our May box won't let your taste buds down. Savor every moment is the theme for the May box, aside from moms. So, all right, let's take a look at what we've got in here and then we'll decide what we want to try. So the first thing we have is a made good chocolate banana granola bar that I will not try right now. That'll go in my lunch box. Those are always nice. So we have cookies and cream wafer bites. So it looks like they're just little like cookie nuggets with a cream filling in them. So we might try those since I can reseal that. We have root 11 potato chips in the flavor of dill pickle. We have some wow butter, tastes just like peanut butter. A to toasted soy butter that apparently tastes just like peanut butter. So I'm not gonna try that right now, but we'll sample that on toast maybe this week. We have some rich chocolate cookie thins. I think I'll pass on trying that. That looks like a, another lunchbox snack. We have bakery on main maple multigrain muffin instant oatmeal. So obviously that I'm not gonna try right now. This will be something good to take to work for morning breakfast. Oh, we got another wow butter. We got two of them. Uh, we got some gluten-free peanut butter bite-sized sandwich cookies or crackers. 
So kind of similar to um, the Ritz ones that are out there. We got a La Panzanella multi-grain all natural something. Just says multi-grain, but by the size of it and the shape of it, I'm guessing it's another kind of granola bar, protein bar thing. Kind of feels like it's that. Doesn't actually say though. We have some coupons at the bottom, which is pretty usual, which is always nice. And then we have some Apple Harvest Crunch Dried Fruit. And I do like dried apples quite a bit, so that'll be yummy. They're basically, it's like chips, but fruit. If you've ever had banana chips, it's kind of that same thing. So, uh, so those are all of the items in the Love With Food box this time around for May. I'm not gonna try the oatmeal or the granola bar things or the wow butter or the cookie thins because these are all kind of more appropriate for my lunchbox for work. So let's go ahead and try four things. So we're gonna try the dill pickle chips, the wafer bites, the peanut butter gluten-free um, sandwich things and the apple chips. First up we will try the apple harvest. If we can get this open. Alright, scissors are going to be needed for this one even though there's a tear, a tear tab it's not tearing very well. Alright, so they are little little tiny chips of apple. So these would probably be really good sprinkled over a salad actually. Not too unlike other things I've tried. The one difference is, is that these seem a lot harder than other ones that I've tried. They definitely seem a lot more firm. Other apple chips that I've had have had kind of the same texture but have been a little bit chewier and these are a little bit harder. So but other than that, they're pretty good. Again, I think that by themselves, they might be not really exciting, but over a salad or maybe over a yogurt, that would be really good. So I can see that. Let's try the peanut butter crackers. When they do, they just look just like, um, like the Ritz sandwiches, <clears throat> if you've ever had those before one that's not broken up here. It's just like a little round kind of buttery cracker with peanut butter in the middle. Kind of average. I mean there's nothing wrong with them. They're, they taste pretty good but if I were someone that actually needed a gluten-free option those would be awesome. So if you have somebody who or if you yourself have a concern about having a gluten-free diet those are really really good for for someone like me who doesn't have that issue they're 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 basically the same as what i can get at, at my regular grocery store but i have that option if you don't have that option if if you your diet is limited because of an allergy concern that's a great alternative so not to knock that at all it's really good let's try these dill pickle chips i'm a little concerned <laughs> not gonna lie I've had some um, other dill pickle chips before and eh, I was alright with them, but let's see how this goes. So looks almost kind of kettle crisp in nature and I can really smell the kind of vinegar from dill pickling. I think my problem with dill pickle chips is that even though it does bring up the whole dillness of a dill pickle, what it's lacking obviously is the juiciness of a pickle. So does it capture the essence of a dill pickle? Kind of, but it's really more of the dill than the pickle, if that makes any sense at all. But I mean, it's not bad. I just don't. I wouldn't seek out a dill pickle flavored chip, just wouldn't. Um, so the last one that we're going to try are these Dulcetto cookies and cream wafer bites. And it kind of feels like they're mostly crumbs on the inside, but let's take a look. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of a dark chocolate looking 
uh, little cookie pillow and inside is um, the cream. I like those a lot actually. Um, the cookie reminds me of the Pirouette cookies if you've ever seen those. Those are the, like kind of long ones that have the a lot of them have kind of like the chocolate stripe that goes through them. Oftentimes they're kind of served with coffee as like coffee stirrers um, because they're really good dipped in coffee and then eaten that way. But the texture of the cookie is that same kind of texture. And then the cream on the inside is not uncommon. Um, pretty standard kind of vanilla cream, almost like an Oreo cream, but not quite as sweet, which I prefer. So I like those actually quite a bit. And I think of the, th the four things that I've tried, I probably like those the best. So those are a win for me. The peanut butter crackers are also a win for me, but again, I could get a, probably a cheaper version of it at a grocery store, but I'm not hindered by the, the gluten aspect. So if that is an issue, that's a good alternative. The other two were kind of eh. I mean, they're all right. It's not like I'm not going to finish them, but I wouldn't necessarily deliberately seek them out. So if you've tried any of these or the things that I haven't tried yet, let me know if you like them. Um, again, if you're interested in love with food, uh, the, the link is down below. And we are going to continue with the snack journey in um, the next subsequent videos. Not sure what order these are going to end up being posted in, but by the end of this series of videos of recording, I should be taking care of for breakfast because I'm going to be going through a lot of snacks. So we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.